Hey guys, so I got some new sunglasses. I'm at my grandma's house. I'm in Osaka. That's why my background looks all grandma housey. Um, so basically, I was wearing these sunglasses all over Japan and my mom hated them she really doesn't like how they look on me i think they're really cute they just cover like the majority of your face but she said it was way too big for my face so i saw a gentle monster boutique which is a korean sunglasses brand and they have a maison margella um collab right now so here is the pouch it's so freaking cute it's pu i wish it was real leather but obviously they're not going to use leather for a free sunglass case but it's so smush it's huge it's not going to fit in a lot of bags but it's freaking cute it looks like their signature bag that margella makes and it has a snap opening which i love i love this like um tension snap opening and it's very cushiony it's super soft here are the sunglasses i got they have the signature Margiela logo that looks like four um, pieces of rice. It's actually thread too, stitched into the acrylic. And it's very standard, like pretty trendy style, I would say, but it's not overly trendy that you wouldn't be able to wear it like after this tiny sunglasses trend ends. And here on this side, it says Margiela Gentle Monster. So here's how they look. I think they actually don't look so bad on me. I never really liked small sunglasses on me because I think I have like such a huge face and really thick um, proportions that like I look pretty manly a lot of the time I feel like. But I think these look really nice actually. I like that you can see my brows so you can like see the facial expressions I'm making but you can't see my eyes. And I really like this um, Margiela stitching logo here back home to my family house in Tokyo and I have two deliveries so this is a vintage cigarette case from Cartier okay so the box is in immaculate condition and here is the case I mean come on It's so nice to like keep it in this, don't you think so? Or am I crazy? I think it looks really nice as well. If you can see. And this one is in brand new condition. It just looks like totally unused. And the next item. Oh, it's almost 40 years old. You can tell that it's old too. So... This is so cute. It's a vintage 
Cartier wallet and it does have like a few dings because it is quite old but that's okay I'm not buying like a newly manufactured product but it looks basically unused I really wanted a wallet that has this coin opening that opens really wide like this so yeah my two vintage finds from Cartier so nice <laughs> Cartier wallet. You can find it really easily online. There's a good number of them out there. The condition does vary, but if you can see this one, it's in really good condition. The seller listed it as unused, and I would say for something that's probably 30 years old, it probably is unused. Um, they might have like bought it and just pulled it out of the box a few times but there's no indentations in the coin purse section i'll show you how the wallet looks and everything and i want to talk about why this wallet is so much better than any wallet i've ever used so this wallet i bought on Mercari, and yes it's the same company as the american mercari but i believe Japan, it's a japanese company initially and the Japanese Merukari and American Mercari are two completely different marketplaces and here is the Bottega Veneta bifold wallet it's um, just the normal black bifold wallet with all my cards and some euros this wallet is really nice the leather quality is amazing but I don't understand what it is with modern brands and making the coin purse part of your wallet so difficult to look into. You can't even see what coins are in there. I prefer to use cash because then you can keep track of what you're using. You kind of like mentally can take note of, oh wow, this purchase is like making me use a lot of paper. Compared to your card, like your debit card or credit card, I don't even have a credit card. Compared to like your credit card, you just tap it. You really don't register how much money you're using. So. And look at this, how am I supposed to see what is in here when I can barely get it open and it's just black, it's a black hole inside. So what I've been having to do when I use this wallet is I had to like dump all the coins out and it doesn't even come out. There are like seven more coins in there and it just doesn't come out. So this wallet is really difficult for me to use and the fact that it's so difficult to use actually makes me get more coins in return because I can't properly count my change if I'm rushing and if you know German cash registers they rush you a lot so this was like a source of stress for me and that's why I really wanted a Gamaguchi wallet Gamaguchi like I said is like this um this mechanism is there a word for it in English is it just coin purse opening I'm not sure 
but how this wallet like is is that there's two sections the first is just your let me cover that your um cards and billfold section so i've got my debit cards and my japanese id card here and then i have i don't have any billfolds right now because i like used all my money just recently but that's where I would put my billfolds and it's so nice to use this because there's no stitching here. When you go in to look for your bills, it opens so wide. Look how wide it opens. Are you kidding me? You can see like all your coins. It's also not black inside so you can actually see the color of the coins and you can easily see exactly what coins you want. I have a little frog in here because it's like a little good luck charm in Japan. There's like a lot of different animals. They all have different meanings. This one is a froggy. Can you see it? Can you see the frog? Oh, come on. Isn't that cute? It's because um, it, frog in Japanese is kaeru. And kaeru means like comes back. So if you put a frog in your coin purse, it means the money you use comes back. Like it encourages the flow of money in and out. And as we know, I use a lot of money, so I needed to come back. So um, that's my short review on this wallet. It's so amazing. I really, if you're looking for a wallet, I do know that Jill Sander makes a wallet that has this opening mechanism for coins. I don't know how wide it opens, but that is one option um, if you want a luxury new option. But if you're all right with vintage and second hand, I really, really encourage you to look for this Cartier wallet. It's in this beautiful dark oxblood red color. There's the Cartier embossing here and that's it. It's just, I mean, I feel like old money is a trend. If you really want to follow this trend, which I think trends are stupid, like you should buy what you like. But if you follow that trend, this would be literally the perfect wallet for that. If anyone knows of a current luxury brand that's producing wallets like this, please leave it in the comments below because I will buy it instantly. Anyways, that's everything. This was like a really random vlog. Um, if you watched until the end, thank you so much. If you noticed that I got my hair cut halfway throughout the video, that's because I've been taking little clips throughout the week. Um, I'm having a third life crisis. I'm 20, turning 29 years old this year. And I guess this is just where I'm where I'm at in life. But yeah, I honestly, the reason I cut it is because I wanted to cut off all the bleach. And I told my uh, stylist that I've never had short hair, like short, short hair. Um, chin length hair is not really considered short in Japan. It has to be shorter to be considered short hair. So I asked them to do that. And I was really scared that I was going to end up looking disgusting, but it's all right. I mean... I don't love it, but I don't hate it, so, and my hair grows really fast, but that's all, so thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to be back in Germany soon, um, I have a lot of new jewelry coming, like, people have ordered it, and it's, um, getting sent to Germany from Japan, so I'll be sending them from Germany, and yeah, so I'll show you guys that in my next video, thank you so much for watching, and if you're um still here leave a comment say hi i reply to all of them like literally all of them so i check my comments like almost every morning so yeah thanks for watching bye